So it's another day here at the boat working on my keel. Um, what I'm doing right now is I'm working on the side pockets and um, it's going like really slow but uh, uh, but it's coming along so I'm pretty happy about that so let me show you the tools that I'm working with. I am working with a cobalt this right here is a 3 8 inch wood chisel all right and if I'm using a wood chisel, I've got to use a hammer. And I've got my washer that's going to go in the pockets. So let me explain exactly how this is going. So this right here is my pocket and uh, you had seen where I drilled the four holes on the top and then the one on the bottom I use a sawzall to cut around and then I use a chisel to to um, take out the in-between and this is what we have that goes right in like that goes all the way to the back and then from the top I'm going to Drop the keel bolts down, boom, and once the bolt is down, the nut will slip on right here, and then I I can hold hold the bottom with a wrench while somebody goes on the top and torque down the nuts on the top. The corners and trying to get the very back uh, nice straight and level. And that's why I'm just kind of like tapping nice and easy on the chisel and I'm not going crazy hammering it down like I normally would. Like I said, just doing, doing some fine tuning because when I put my finger up into the hole to check my alignment. Uh, the washer was sitting a little bit further back, so it needs to go that way just a little bit. And I don't even have to go up in the boat to look down into the hole to see, because I could feel that it was pretty well off. Um, so uh, once I make this adjustment and I and I test test, test it out, I'll go up topside and I'll look down into the bilge down through the hole because I can see daylight down down here and I can tell if the washer needs to go in a little bit more or forward a little bit more so like I said this right here is just the fine tooth and then when everything is said and done this whole area will be covered up with um, epoxy filler and the way that you make the epoxy filler is you don't make it to where it's gonna be rock hard it's uh, it's a special way that you make it where you can actually uh, chip it out and so I've completed that one right there and this one and I'm gonna get started on this one next right here just cleaning it out basically uh, the washer already fits in there but I've got to clean things out. I got to chamfer this side a little bit more and that side also and the very bottom if you can see the bottom whatsoever. These are some of the larger chunks that I was chiseling out before. show that to you. Yep. So, also from the bottom side of the keel, uh, these are all the shavings that I've saved up. And as you can see, 
it's a five gallon paint bucket and it is about one third filled and by the time I get done with it, it'll be probably half full. So, <laughs> all right. So, that's what I've been working on. And I've got one more pocket on this side, all the way up front. And then I have three more pockets around the other side. I haven't even got two. So, uh, yep, that's it. Tune in next week. Thank you.